something is not happy with steering. I have to move two Nomads, my Racy Nomad and my Cruiser Nomad, to drive out my uh, four-speed Camaro. What's happening, guys? Dan here, DD Speed Shop. So we're back on the old Camaro, um, where I kind of left it. It was a fiasco. My life's a fiasco, but we got the motor mostly sorted. We got some breathers in it, and I think where we ended was... Uh, oh, wiring woes. And I haven't done anything since. So we're waiting on some parts, you know, to get it all together properly and then finish up the wiring. I know it looks like a disaster, but there's actually not really that much more wiring to be done, surprisingly. But today, I think what I'm going to do, I want to break from this thing. I've kind of had enough. The weather is terrible. It's literally snowing out right now. And... Uh, I want to work on something else. I've been giving her heart on this thing. You guys have been watching and uh, it's kind of cool, but I don't want to rush it. There's no point in trying to get this thing all together to drive it in the snow. That's just stupid. So, uh, and let's be honest, we have anything stupid here at Dee Dee's Beach Shop. Today, what I want to do, put it outside. So that will involve a hood and the hood requires latch mechanism, which as you can clearly see, is absent. Luckily, uh, in the parts bin, there was a sandblasted one, so I just put a coat of paint on it. We'll let this kind of dry a little bit there. We'll be able to bolt that in. I did buy the hood latch kind of pin, whatever you want to call it, that goes on the hood itself. I think it's inside. All I have was a chrome one, so we'll put that on. The hood should be able to close and latch and be weather tight. I even have an air filter I could probably toss on it, but it should be okay. I mean, the battery's in, everything's ready to go. Now, along the side here, we do have to put the side glass in. I never accomplished that. Um, I guess the way I was doing it was dead wrong. Some people are saying you can take it out and make it fit. I guess all the um, fuzzies got to be out. And when I was struggling uh, with the door, the fuzzies were in it. So maybe the fact that this doesn't have the fuzzies, I can put the glass in the channel um, on the bench and then put the glass with channel in the car and kind of go from there. Still fighting out the seats. I haven't made any progress on that. So that'll have to wait. We got to uh, put the steering wheel and all that kind of jazz back on, which is just some nuts and bolts. Kind of clean whatever I want for tools out of this. Put whatever junk we're going to keep in the trunk. And then this thing can idle its way, hopefully. Hopefully, I, I will say that. Oh, the garage. Um, first drive, it would be nice to go around the block, but. In all reality, you got to leave the garage before you can leave the driveway, before you can leave the lane, before you can go around the block. So we're just on phase one, and I want a shiny blue Nomad to be in here by the end of this video, which I'm hoping will be the end of today. <laughs> well, it's already halfway through the day, but uh, before I go to bed. So that's the plan. We'll let that paint dry. I'm just going to do a little bit of cleaning up. We'll come back. We'll try and jam some glass in or put the steering wheel on or all the above. I gotta convince Danny to come out here and help me put the hood on. Well, maybe tighten up some hardware and we'll have something. Okay, so we got this window. I, I took a track out and I just kind of knocked it in there. Now I'm all covered in grease, so it should be fun to try and get this thing in. Now, you guys on the internet kind of, I don't know what they did. Kind of like folded it. Like, I don't, it just doesn't seem like it wants to fit here. I do have this stump on still. I guess I could take that off maybe. Yeah, there's a, everything, everything is greasy. There's a stop, which uh, on a hard top, the glass will, I mean, essentially roll itself all the way out, which you don't want. And it's the wrong size. So it has a little stop on it, so it can only go so far up and down, actually, as it turns out. Well, you don't have 7 16 Grab an 11. Because they're basically the same. Oh, that's really pretty good. So this side, I think this is the side that uh, was disassembled to start with, maybe? I forget. Okay. So you can see this big wheel has to somehow get in there. I wonder if I should start with that. 
well, <laughs> a little bit of humble pie. So now this, gentle, hang on, I need a stool. Watch me smash that, no, oh, it won't close because the, where I put my stool? The uh, wiring's all in the way, that's handy. Now this side I have all the bits and pieces too, the other side was missing a bunch. But that wheel has to fit in this track, which I should be able to hopefully line up. Drop this down. I can't see anything there. Where does this go? Uh, where is this? Oh, is it in there? No. Yes. No. What the heck? Let's try again. Hard tops are stupid. Get a sedan. Be a man. What the? I, I can't. I don't understand. This is. Won't go in, won't go out. Won't do anything. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a lot of cursing going on. But Danny was on your filament, so you didn't get it. But I was mad. This happened, well, three or four times before it went in. But uh, I don't have the little bolt thing through the back to secure it in, so I'm a little leery and running up and down too many times. But it does, uh, does its thing. Back up. Ish. So that's good. The other problem I ran into was the um, brake switch. It's supposed to have two nuts on it. I didn't, it only has one. The box is still inside me, I'll go check. Because without two, you can't adjust it. So I got the other one out, but, uh, and it's uh, 3 eighths fine. So not a common bolt or a nut that I have. What was this one? Where do you think this is from? What are the odds? Where did I put it? Oh, right here. If this is it. No. Yeah, no. No. Damn it. It's a miscellaneous nut. Anyway, um, so I gotta find a nut for it, which is in the end of the world. Just gotta run out and grab one. Not that we need brake plates to back it up. I just thought I'd put it in there and have it work. Um, so that's why I didn't have the steering wheel on yet, because you're kind of under there screwing around. But such is life. I'll go look, see if I can find that piece inside. Otherwise, I think we'll try and put the hood section or the hood latch in. So it looks like it's got some nut certs in it, then some are just going to be bolts. So we get that in there nice, and I'll have to go get the latch piece from inside. So we'll go ahead and look for that another bolt or another nut, sorry, and that uh, latch piece, and then we can put the hood on, hopefully. And then this thing should move on its own power once we kind of move all the junk. I just kind of put whatever was in there I wasn't using, I tossed in the trunk because we know we have it. Actually, the window stuff might be in one of these. Couldn't tell you which one. Oh, right there. Just put that in. So this little piece here goes in and it locks the window in. Problem solved. We ready to go yet? God, the internet thinks I'm mean to you. Please, <laughs> Man, I don't think people get jokes. Stop making me hold the camera. Another shake can. We are getting a problem. <laughs> um, so <laughs> they also don't understand why I'm not in the kitchen. Well, and why are you in the garage? I don't get it. Anyways, uh, the window really brought up the anger levels a little bit. So what? Well, I said a soft nine, but <laughs> Danny thinks it might be a hard ten. <laughs> Anyways, so we got this pile of garbage together. It, well, now it didn't really didn't really fit the. Uh, the greatest originally. Uh, how is this? I don't understand. You know, I just don't understand, I guess, is basically where this sentence is going to end. Oh, the grill. The grill's in there. That's a hassle to get to now. This might be uh, partially assembled. It's still kind of not wet paint, but you know, it's kind of tacky. Tacky like our living room. 
Oh. Oh. Our living room's not tacky. Um. Oh, there's still a bolt. No. How does this? How does that do anything? We'll just tighten up these top bolts. This is all we really need. I don't really understand how that works. Somebody on the internet will tell you. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, oh, I see. It just needs a little cranking. That's all it needs. Look at that, that chrome, right, like literally touching it. Right there, the what chrome hood latch thing. See, this is why we fight, because I said you're touching it oh, almost. This. <laughs> yeah, the only piece of chrome in the garage. Oh, chrome, see, I heard bone, and I was like, why would you want your bone? This is why we fight. Oh, this one has a nut on the backside. <laughs> I would have been there a while. I was almost Dan yelling it. So we got that, uh, that, I hate that chrome. That's all I could find for, uh, for a little spring latch deal. So it's kind of, why did you want me to show the people that I'm not happy with it. Oh. But it's a lot of work to try and like sand it all down and, and paint it black. So it'll be chrome on the hood full of body filler instead of using the good hood. We'll sell that one. As okay. one does. As one does. Okay, so that's that. Let's uh, clean up a little bit around here. Oh, I meant to take this to get clamps for today. You know what I forgot to do? All of that. But we get the hood on, and the hood did fit this thing at one point. Decent. So we should be able to put it on there and then like legit latch the hood down. And then maybe it'll open again. Probably not. But we can get to... Oh. Where's the... <laughs> Did the grill maybe need to go on last? No. But as I am discovering, and the internet's already told me, I'm sure... A 68 hood latch is probably different than a 67 hood latch. <laughs> and I was thinking they're the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're different. <sighs> you mean that's why it didn't fit? You think? <laughs> you think that's why it didn't fit? Ah, this is my life. <sighs> you know, for as many similarities as there are, there's a lot of differences. This one's all beat. I wonder if I can just take the pot piece off, though. Yeah, this one goes straighty. The other one has a bit of a curvature ah. that was close we we're only off by one year and one part but one brain what you know what you don't know what you don't know and i didn't know oh headphone warning are you gonna paint that of course <laughs> hey at least we didn't put it all together close the hood <laughs> and then go oh this is wrong <laughs> that would have been way worse Okay, well, we'll, we'll uh, I'll put a quick coat of paint on this and then we'll come back and uh, we'll put the hood on. I'm not just gonna watch the sand fan. Everybody says more work, less talking. I think they were talking about you. Probably, but. For the talking. I don't do work. When it comes to work, I feel like I do an adequate amount. You know? Maybe not, maybe I'm slacking lately. The other one I did, like I sanded, like spent actually a fair bit of time screwing around sanding it and everything because I cared. And then uh, I even used um, like rust converter. This one. You're talking like you're not going to do any of that this time. Oh. In my defense, I think this paint does that. It's a hood latch, let's be honest. It's, it's fine. This is what happens. See, I try and care. I try, and it ends up going sideways on me. Now we're gonna screw around, I'm gonna end up, well, I guess we gotta go 
while you're learning books. But I'm gonna be working with wet paint now and I hate that, it's very frustrating. You could just let it dry. Who are you? I'm trying to make sense. Really, no one's ever gonna see this. You only see the top bit. Except for everybody watching this video. You know what, at this point, those people have probably stopped watching. Okay, let's take, as I said, we'll just go ahead and take this piece off right quick, because that was a test. Luckily, I, you know what though? This is the throw out bearing of hood latches. This bottom piece I think could probably still be used. It looks the same, the other one's all beat. Or at the very least, we'll put it together, then realize it can't be the same. You know? The DD Speed Shop way. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully there's something good for dinner tonight, you know? Wait, is the Colonel cooking tonight, maybe? <laughs> no, you can have meatballs or chicken or soup. Mm. I love the soup on the counter with the dogs on the tent. So meatballs or chicken. They weren't eating when I went in there. Okay, peel this all out, and then we'll, uh, well, you gotta get a tripod there and we'll put the hood on. That'd be fun, eh? Yeah. Get off the damn phone, Danielle. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I don't get more emails saying I'm mean to you. Okay, so I'll do this side, so you gotta... I do appreciate that the internet wants to make sure that you know, that you are being nice to me. I'm pretty sure the internet just <laughs> likes to give me a hard time. <laughs> it makes you feel better, they give me a hard time too. Only about your footwear and voice. <laughs> okay, now we gotta... This is pretty heavy, hold on. It's the same hood we've... T Stretch first. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you ready? Yep. You gotta go over the car. I realize that, but I'm much shorter than you are. Oh okay. Can you hold it kinda? No pressure, but it is a brand new windshield. Okay, hang on, we gotta go that way. We get one safety bolt in. And a level of Panic can go down. Okay, you still got it? Uh -huh. So now you can go to the kind of front and hold it. All right, almost here. Here we go. Okay, hang on. Hang. What do you hold the light? <laughs> I feel like I think it's a joke, but the internet might not be. And... <laughs> We'll see how this ends. Can hardly wait for the comment section. Uh. Okay. I feel like we're gonna have a new disclaimer, like Dan loves Danny. The fact that you're still around, I think that's what it means. Truly. Okay. Ooh, washers. Gentle, gentle. Plus you're still gonna take them to the bookstore after this, right? What? I thought we agreed, no learning. <laughs> That's a newfangled idea. We don't learn here at DD Speed Shop. We can't have women reading. Hey, your words, not mine. <laughs> Where's my impact? Where'd you put it? Why have you put it over here? <laughs> God, Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, that was loud on my ear. Oh, I feel it on my tongue. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Scratch this one in real quick. We'll see how out to lunch we are. Oh, we actually, you know what? We have to, can you push up on the hood? Yeah, we gotta crank this down. 
as I recall, that one has to go down. Same with this one. But that should be a ligged up pretty good. Okay. Can I go? Yep. You really weren't doing anything last three minutes. Uh, oh, it's way, it way out to lunch here. Can you hold it again? I don't know what we gotta do there. But... Oh yeah, that's gonna hit. Something don't seem right. How's that side? The hood is rocked a little, so we gotta. The glass is the cleanest it's ever been. You're still, you're Danielling it. Okay, so we gotta. This side's gotta go down. Just a scotch. So should I hold it? Nah. Just hold it with me in support. Do anything. She's caught. Is her bone loose? Why? Why? What did I say? This. This says go forward, right? Is that what I said, Danielle? Huh? What? Hey? Well, I feel like this side's already kind of all the way. This side looks pretty good. Was it? Yeah. This side? No, this side has to go up. The other side had to go down. What, are you watching videos? Uh, I was checking in on our latest t shirt design. Oh my god. Why is this side not. This uh This is a ratchet. Very good. This one won't move. Why won't this one move? I don't understand. Okay, have the ratchet back. Okay, the ratchet has to be super friggin' loose, but I think these are finger tight. What is it? Hmm. That soft nine is going to come into play here. It should. I guess that's all the adjustment we got. And so it's going to come out more. That's not good. We did test fit this, right? Maybe. I could have sworn we did. I'm pretty sure we did. The hood was on this thing. It didn't latch, but we had it fitting. one point I guess that's all we're gonna get out of Justin the rest of the color of the fenders what's pretty, pretty bad I think oh. <laughs> How do I know? I'm not a scientist. sure a little gappy but we can actually play with the fenders a little and it's she good enough this is DD's feature all we need is good enough Actually, this side's got to come forward a little. <laughs> we try here. Not very hard. That's very true. But we work very hard. We just don't try very hard. You know, I miss Murr sometimes. At least he'd be here without as much attitude. This is it attitude or is it comedic relief? That would be attitude you got there, my dear. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I dish it. <laughs> Corn the internet, that's all I do, so. Oh, also, apparently you're not that funny, so I don't need to laugh at everything you say. I wish you wouldn't. But you're hilarious. I know. What can I say? Okay. Let's uh, put that latch in while it's still wet. You wanna do that? Uh, wait for it to dry. No, no, no. Cause you know, I, I love to do that. So I have no patience. 
and I need paint on my hands for the whole weekend. That's it rubbing on. We'll call her OK. <laughs> She's OK. Gently with the paint. Actually, this one fits better than the other one. The other one ended up with a couple of scratches somehow. I don't know how that happened. This one fits way better too. It doesn't have to be pried into place or anything. I think that's how the other grill got broken. This guy tried putting a 68 thing in it. Might be. No. Only an idiot would do that. Well, well dim -witted. Dim. See, you know what? And here I am, defending you to the people. Sometimes. <laughs> you literally made my name a like when you do bad things. <laughs> Somebody uh, in the comments is like, I didn't yell it today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh man, but I love the attention. <laughs> Yeah, don't blame me. <laughs> Sometimes you get a good den yelling. Sometimes you do. It's just kind of the way it goes. This is not... Where'd that tool go? I put it away? Doesn't sound like me at all. Uh, you know... Where did I put it? Oh, found it. Found something. The problem is, when I try and work clean, I'm always like, where did I put it? I go looking around, looking around. Meanwhile, I had put it back. A few people were saying you should just have like a rolly basket. I've tried that, it's not for me. And you know what the rolly basket turned into? A pile of junk. This one didn't really go in very good. It might get a three quarter fitment. We'll come back and do it precisely Last later. the little rolly chair ends up being the uh... Anything with a flat surface ends up being a tool storage. Mer showed me. I can't possibly change. Oh, no, oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. I got. It. Oh, exactly. I basically am perfect in everything I do. No? Oh. Yes, I was, that's why I was silent. I agree. Or is it because you knew what was better for you? Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, we gotta put the hood latch on. That'll be an exciting video. Okay, we got that. Let me get this chrome. Chrome deal. Oh, here's a ratchet. I put it over here. <laughs> There's been a couple of moments in this video, like when I tried to put the window in, I was filming it, and it just came right out in my hands. I had to turn the video off. I was so mad. Okay, how many wrenches does a guy need? Now this, I'm thinking, goes like that. So I'll zap this up in there. You don't want to paint it? It's chrome. Chrome will get you home. You can't really paint chrome, it just flakes off and looks all ugly. You can try scuffing it and everything, but oh. this right here is the way she's gonna be, I think. Three bolts in this too. Just two. That's why they call you three bolt then. Three bolt then. Um, where did I put that impact? There's just not that many flat surfaces. Huh, I'll just go by hand here. Right there. Right there. Oh, I'm committed at this point to doing this. I'll go fast. I was the fastest ra ratcheter in the West at one point. <laughs> Quit laughing at those stupid jokes. That, you know what the people don't want to hear? Dumb jokes. The problem is, is that I like to flirt with you, and that's how I flirt, is I giggle at you. How about, instead of that, we put a little time into the outfit. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the DD Speed Shop merch you're wearing and all that. But, <laughs> just saying. I just wanted to feel comfy today. Okay. Doing laundry. Feel comfy today. Okay. So now, it's just gonna... 
Oh yeah, we're locked in there. Huh. Look at that, it latched. Now, very high. Yeah, well, like, I have to adjust it. Oh. I realized that. I didn't know that you Oh, this is, it. huh. This is kind of a goofy deal here. You, what, you think it's just one size fits most? Yeah. No. This ain't the Walmart of hood latches. This is factory stuff I got off Scamazon. So, hopefully we can put enough adjustment on this thing. It didn't seem like it really had to go a lot though. Screwdriver. Might have been too much I put in. The double latchy. Hang on, hang on. We'll take a little out and we'll give it the slam test. I'm surprised it actually even kind of. Eh? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was worried it's actually got a little bit too much, a little too much crank in it. This is, you know, so like, look at this. You buy this hood latch and the oh, this factory one, the spring, like it doesn't even fit right. Like everything is garbage. And I got to get in here and then lock that down, but. So it needs a little, a little fitting. The really what it needs here is the back. There's a ginormous gap here but I can loosen this and slide that ahead a little. And then this is actually okay. This front's gotta go down a little and this side has to come up. It's a little bit too far down and yeah, we'll slide that ahead a little. And there might be some adjustment. Well, I guess not. This is, actually this could go back just a hair. So we could push the whole hood back a little, but we'll leave that there for now. That's pretty good. I'll just leave that out of the ground. We'll double check. Oh, this is loose. It's probably part of our problem. We'll go ahead and tighten everything down. Give her the old DD speed shop once over. And then uh, go get Danielle her book. And like a real book, not even like a Kindle book. Nerd. I like real books. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll move this thing. I well, brought it up. That's good. Ish. Then we'll go ahead and try and move this thing. I, so this the, I was thinking about this. This is the most asshole line of the video. I have to move two nomads, my racy nomad and my cruiser nomad, to drive out my uh, four-speed Camaro. Ooh. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like life's pretty good, you know. Okay. Let's go uh, drink some hot dog water for dinner. It's all we can afford. You just slip on a block there. So we got the Camaro down, blocks there. Now it's Schmozzle Central. So to move just one car, we have to move all the cars. So we already had to move the tow truck. And then this thing, we actually took for a ride the other day. And now um, we didn't even finish the video. I came home. And the starter is falling right off of it. So I don't know what the deal is, but well, you'll, get, you'll get to here. I like to always kind of disconnect the battery just in case. You never know, you know, rough area and all. Actually this thing just, the battery dies for some reason, which I don't understand. Cause it's got a brand new wiring harness in it. So anyway, Let's fire this thing up. We can move it. Then I guess everything has to move. That's probably this little driveway. There's not enough to really park stuff. Mind you, everything runs. I guess we can just park in the neighbor's place. Thanks, Courtney. Okay. Starter fall off. Engage. Come on. Oh, I 
said good car, then it died. It was on me. Come on. It needs a little more uh, supercharger noise. Okay. Ah. Look at this hot rod. We'll let it run. Fan kick on there? I hope so. Oh, yeah. Meep. Ran good. Well, I think you better take care of the car in the driveway. I kind of want to park this one in the driveway, too. <laughs> take a picture. And then move the blue car. <laughs> So let's do that, but let's make sure the blue car starts and everything before we really, just in case she comes home and causes a real hassle. I don't know where the keys are of that blue car. We love you, Courtney. Are these, uh, are these them or are these my Nomad? No, that's my Nomad keys. The amount of keys I lose in a day, week, month. Lifetime. Lifetime? Why can't everything just have the same keys? Okay. Um, I'll go look in there. Think that you're in it? Yeah. Okay. So, does this thing have a working hood latch? Oh, yeah. So, the keys were not in it, but uh, I didn't lock the ignition, so it'll start without them. What a concept. Let's make sure this thing will run real quick. Let's leak coolant. Poor car. Sitting out in the snow. I'm just gonna see if it'll start. Oh, okay. Then we'll uh, mess with it. It's cold out. Come on. Mint. Okay. So this one does run. So now let's go. Move the other one. Come back to this one. Come back, move this one just in the driveway. Move the Camaro or whatever over there. All right, because that's going to go in. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Camaro's not really going anywhere, but. No, but the blue Nomad's going here. Yeah, I think so. Maybe don't park in the driveway because she's probably coming home right away. Well, where else am I going to go? We're, our driveways are full. Will be two minutes, maybe. Um, oh yeah. Actually, you know what? The seat has. I pushed the seat all the way back. Now I can't really reach the pedals. I think she'll have a good sense of humor. You don't think so? Oh, I think. She <laughs> Man, Camaros are small cars. Okay, we're in neutral. Man, this thing starts good. This wheel is terrible. <laughs> oh, small wheel. <sighs> Power steering would have been an idea. Let's go out here. On the street, but 
sounds good. I wish I knew how to drive a stick. You wanna drive this one? No. You wanna hop in? I don't know how to drive a stick. I'll give you a ride. This one's got a block of wood under it. We'll just see. You're in the kill zone. Come yeah, on. She'll go. All right, here we go. This thing runs good. The steer's much easier. We beat Danny there. Gentle. Oh god, this car's good. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, this thing's got like power disc brakes on it. I kind of forget all the time. Linkage is a little stiffy. Love to do two runs at it. <laughs> Look at this hot rod. Is it centered ish? No. It's not bad. It's not going to go on these things. We're going to have to jack it up or screw around. I don't think you'll be able to hold it while I drive up on them. Maybe though. Okay, well, I'll uh, straighten out, get the floor jack out, screw around. I know, I know. I got to build some ramps. But then it wouldn't be a hassle. Where's the fun in that? What were those motions? Oh, we... so, so, so you know, as a driver, when you're doing this, that means go straight. What were you? Oh, I was trying to in the middle. Oh, <laughs> it's not bad. I'm right in the middle. So when you're guiding a car, you do which way you want to go. We like to fight. Uh, whose side are you on now, internet? <laughs> and, uh, Again, so when I got her straight, you know, so you're doing this behind the camera, then I got it straight and you did this, which would be the go the other way. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the floor jack's holding up a bunch of boxes. All right, well, get this thing started. Go from there. I got it. Don't worry, Danielle and Internet. 
Nobody wants to see me work. Do it better. You're such a hack. Yeah, you ain't wrong. Ugh. This is awkward. Oh, this floor jack sucks. It doesn't work. Forgot about that. It's terrible. <laughs> ah, who lowers cars? This jack doesn't work. Maybe Merle will build me some ramps for my birthday. Good? Straight, yeah? Yeah. Where were you on guiding the ramps? Well, that one's short. I know, that's why you gotta watch and guide. The door, hitting that, there's a lot now. Okay, we'll move that pile back here and then uh, we'll go for right around the block in that Camaro, maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's right, please. Traction problem. Rear tires. I should have gone with the bigger tires, you're right. I don't think that's what I just said. Oh. Not gonna lie, I wasn't really listening. Okay. I don't know if the people can see it, but it is snowing. Oh, it's snowing. Let's turn the heat back on in here. I'm gonna go, uh, Get the Camaro. Oh, what a hot rod. <laughs> oh, something is not happy to steering. Man, this thing is cool. It's not meant for the husky gentleman, I don't think, unfortunately. Let's just adjust that down a little, but look at that. It's outside. Everything works. Sounds awesome. God, does this thing sound good. So the steering is tight 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 actually but I noticed Mer said the other day I think the adjustment that might just be cranked all the way down the built thing or something I don't know we'll have to play with that but it's outside now with its older brother it looks good so yeah we're gonna work on this thing and that Nomad next take a bit of a break from the Camaro let some parts come in let myself get a little more, uh, I don't know, take a break sometimes. Take a break from one junker to wire another. Thanks so much for watching. Please. Yes.
Didn't you have something to say to the nice folks? Oh, Danielle's cool. We just joke around. Is that what it was? No. Oh, what's that? What was it? So you appreciate everybody oh, watching. Oh, I appreciate everybody watching. I always say I appreciate everybody watching. But some people have lately thought you've been a little too sarcastic with them. Oh, that's so that's just my sense of humor. I like to have a good time here. We mess around and all that sort of stuff. Shop mentality. If you're a little we bit work soft. We hard at our day job so we can goof off here. Yeah, and take it out on you poor folks. Thank you so much. Comment below. 57 Chevy, 55 Chevy, what do you want to see next? Let me know. I'm doing whatever I want anyways. The tea. <laughs> Thank you.